Hey everybody, Akers here. Welcome back to uh, the Long Dark Interloper 500 Day Challenge. This will be part four. So we made it to the coastal gas station, and we haven't looted yet, but we're about to. So let's see here. I go in here and take a look at what all I got here. Probably get rid of some of these. Should I should have left behind some of these? Little sewing kits and the and the metal, a couple of those tin cans, but we're, we're underweight for the little looting trip that we're doing. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. But then again, I'm looking around here. I'm kind of seeing some decent loot straight away. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll fill it back up here, like in the first room. I mean, that would be a thought to look here. Be a, oh, painkillers. I don't think I've ever found painkillers in the uh, cash register before. So that's a new one. But, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing pretty well myself. Is that it? Oh, I saw that from across the room. I thought that was going to be a uh, soda can. We, we got one at least, but I was hoping for more. And uh, toilet, even though it doesn't have a reservoir, I don't know where we get this water from. But, in the game anyway, it is potable. So. Oh, good. Two lockers that I don't need a pry bar for. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a pry bar. What I really need is a uh, hacksaw so I can get some scrap metal. But uh, I think what we have like two pieces. I just saw it a second ago. Yeah, we only have two pieces. We need we need a bit more than that before we can go to the forge and start really looking around. Get some more wires. Simple tools would be all right to have. Yeah, we're gonna need that eventually. Another whetstone, some dusting sulfur. That's for making ammunition, which is not not going to be useful to us and in interloper. So no need to pick that up, unless there's a secondary use for it that I'm unaware of. This stuff will come in handy. Antibiotics. Uh, let's see here. Lots of fuses and lots of uh, lots of wires. Another fuse. I'm just out of this stuff. We'll take that. Uh, that's some stuff. Charcoal. Nah. We're good on charcoal. We have like a lot of it. I think it was like one and a half kilograms of charcoal. Nobody needs this anymore. I'm gonna take the bandage. sure I'm not missing anything because it looks like the loot spawn points have gotten a little more randomized it's one of the curses of playing this game for so long is you get into habits and I am a type of person that relies on habits To remember things because my memory's so bad. It's not a. I was hoping that was going to be a uh, recipe, but I don't. It looks a little different, so still get used to that new mechanic. Could end up being used. More, more painkillers. Yeah, given how much we sprain our ankles and such, it might save us one of these days. While we're exploring. Ooh, nice. We'll to took uh took. We'll, uh, throw that on right away. I need to also put this on. Someone posted in the comments, ah, you forgot to put that one on. Yeah, I did. So well those were fun while they lasted, but we've upgraded. So we're getting up there with the warmth bonus. I feel a lot better once we get up around fifteen. Above fifteen for our warmth, but We'll take it for right now. What we really could use... Oh, a Storm Lantern. Oh, money, baby. I want to see. See how much uh, fuel's in that. How much fuel's in it? Take a look here. Oh, it's almost completely full. Yeah, we'll take that. Alright. 
I hit escape to try to put it away. That's not quite right. H to holster, right? Yeah, we're good on... I think we're good on Tinder. Let me check and see how we're doing on Tinder stuff. Uh, we got our fire starting. Got two of those. Got three of these. I could probably tear up a few of these real quick. There we go. Let's do a, another one. Now we have six Tinder plugs. There we go. And yeah, what the heck. Let's just do one more. That'll get rid of all the paper there. And now we have a good supply of tinder. Yeah, we should be able to start a fire if we need to. Get a pinch here. Didn't really take a look behind us to see uh, the situation with the houses. I can't remember. I don't think they randomly burn down in this area. I think there's pretty much standard houses that are always standing. They're like permanent, you know? So... I just woke up, so it's it's a morning. My brain's not quite at full speed yet. And this is going to be... Why is that? It says open lock. Uh, it doesn't have the... That, one, that one's been buggy for a while now. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, well... Um, what can we drop here for now? Because I am going to sleep here tonight. Let's see here. I'm going to drop both of these. All of this. Uh, that's a lot of sticks right there. Yeah, let me move over a little bit. Makes it easier to pick up a big pile like that. Wait, what did I drop? Yeah, it's fine. Need to drop that, though. Sorry. That's what I meant to do. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to have... I thought I tore up all the newspaper, but apparently I didn't. Maybe it was stacks of newspaper, and that's just like a single newspaper. That's probably what it was. Okay, and then let's drop some of these cans. Someone pointed out in the comments. Don't need these head wraps anymore. Can I harvest it? It's ten minutes to get a cloth. I think we can do better just by tearing up uh, um, curtains. As far as a time savings. So I'm just going to drop these. The next hapless survivor. Enjoy them. And then grab some, uh, or drop some of these cans. We're underweight now, which is good. I uh, don't need to carry my metal. And we can drop some of these sewing kits. Here they are. Honestly, don't need to be carrying much of the food either, but I don't feel like dropping everything. Because we're just going to loot a couple houses and come right back here. So, alright. Let's do another little quick look around. Looks pretty good. Alright, let's move on. Hey, it actually feels like it's above freezing. Wow. I'm impressed. I hear footsteps. Thought I did. That might have been my footsteps. Oh, it's a moose. Guard in that house. I don't... Oh, man, I don't know if I remember seeing a moose in this immediate area. Is there a house over here? Oh, it's burned down. Hmm. Nope. I guess some of these houses just, that are normally here, there's normally at least more than one. Uh, okay. Well, it's unfortunate the moose is guarding the house. Thank goodness. We'll take both of those. But normally there's at least two houses to uh, loot, so I guess they do have a chance to burn. Where is it? Right here. I don't know if I can get to that house at the moment. I think it's 
I think I'm going to get trampled by the moose, and I don't want broken ribs right now. That's a... That's not a good thing to have. Let's explore some of these cars. Can I even get in this car? No, it's completely snowed in. Hmm. Uh, let for some recipes. Try this car. These two over here. Normally I put the hoods up on the cars that I check, but if I get in this car in a hurry and the hood's up because I'm being chased by a wolf, it sort of limits my visibility to see what's going on outside. Um, so, as a future safety precaution, I'm going to leave the hood down so that I can at least see out. Not probably that big of a deal with this car because it's right next to the door to the gas station, so I should be able to get inside of there. Oh, I don't think I've ever been inside this. That's probably the reason why. Okay, let's try this car. Our eyes peeled. Now, someone in the comments said that you look for stinky lines with the F key. Um, F key takes you into this here. That's not where I need to be. You need to hit shift to bring up your uh, your little meters, your on-screen meters. And that's where sticky lines will appear at the center of the screen. So... Just a little clarification there. At least I think that's what they were trying to convey. Okay. Alright, let's go back around back, see if the moose is moseyed on away from that area a little bit or still just it's just hanging man I don't want to try to get to this car but I don't want to get stranded either all small arms I won't need that skill that I have zero interest in this playthrough. Man, he just owns that area right now. I'm not going to argue with him. Alright, let's uh, get back inside the hut here, do some reading, maybe eat some food, do some reading. Make use of this little bit of uh, time while we wait to loot that house over there. There is one up over the hill I could go for. Let's try that. Unfortunately, it's where those three wolves came from. And met me out at the lake, Ray. Holy oh, smokes. Was that the moose grunting? or? Oh, he's moving. But he's coming our way. He's not moving much. So, there is a uh, house right over here. Unfortunately, it's exactly the route that the wolves took. So, I'm a little nervous about going up over this little hill here. Coming nose to nose with them. I guess I can always turn around and run. Okay, there's the house that I'm talking about. There, there's a wolf right there. Went right behind that tree. He's just on the other side of the house. Oh, no. Let's get inside. Looks like he's returning back to his position. So, hey, we have a fireplace in here at least. So, yeah. I'm trying to remember, I don't, I don't think you can cook on those fireplaces. It's been forever um, since I've considered something like that. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. No, I don't think there's a cooking spot. Well, let's loot this and assess the situation. There's a lot of threats around this immediate area. Potato. Sink potato. I 
don't want to go out that door. At least Excellent. right now. So raw venison, huh? Hmm. Well, the wolf will definitely be attracted to me now. But I do want to take it back to the... Uh, that's, a, that's a good amount. Um, I am going to run it back. So there's the stink lines that I was talking about, right? So if you hit F, you know, I guess you can see it up here. Okay. But that's not how I normally do it. What I do is I hit shift. Oh, they got rid of it. I stand corrected. I swear that I've seen it outside on this screen before. So now you have to go in here to see it. It doesn't just appear on your overlay. It used to appear if you hit shift right up there in the middle. All right, well, I stand corrected. Things have changed. That's like goes back to what I said about habits. So I look for things in certain areas, and when they're not there, I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm good. But uh, I guess unless you read every part of the change log, I'm just going to catch you off guard like that. Catch me off guard anyway. Well, good. Glad I figured that out inside of a house rather than outside, because I was running around thinking, yeah, I'm good. I might have a little bit of a attraction, but not nothing too significant. Take all this water here. There we go. Okay. Well, this was kind of a, apart from the meat, it's kind of a bust. I don't really kind of hesitate running out the door here. Okay. Came in this door, so that's the door I want to leave out of. How we doing? We're okay. I should be able to run just fine. Let's run. Guarantee the wolves are coming. I don't see the moose over there anymore. Let's get inside. Let's grill up a little bit here. Do some cooking. Uh, see if we can do anything with the... The pot, the potatoes. Um, let me take a look here at the recipes. So we can do porridge. Do with the uh, venison. Cooking oil, water, uh, flour. I think we. I think we had flour over. Here. I have flour on me. Will I? Did I pick up. Oh no, this, that was oatmeal. That was oatmeal. Uh, just inside the uh, gas station on the the door when I started this episode on the shelf it was a, it was a uh, oats yeah it wasn't flour okay so can't do that would like to make that though but we'll get venison eventually it's not hard to find got lots of water so venison oil water and and that we can make ourselves a nice pie takes an hour and twenty minutes to cook though jeez. And then no available recipes that I guess would recycle canned recipes. Okay, well, hold on. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Uh, let's see if that opens up those. No. Okay. It's family stew recipe. Canned corn. Yeah, so this is just a vegetable recipe. And then my cooking skills insufficient. Not sure what I have to get it up to there. To reduce increase the max stamina. Okay. Well, we just had a little bit of flour would be all right, but that's okay. I'm just going to cook up the steak and uh, go from there. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see here. Can I start the fire with? Now let me go ahead. And Let's go and fire up our... We do have a torch with us, right? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Then let's uh, start this fire here. And I'll go grab some more wood. Once we get it going here.
I think I'll cook this up in, in a potato that we got. Have a nice little meal. Should be good for the rainer tonight. We'll do some studying. Sort of thing. I gotta get some... Get some, uh... More fuel on the fire here. No, no. Put that away. Add fuel. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's do a little cooking here. What kind of crafting can you do here? Oh yeah, fire hardened arrow. I was like, remember? Let's place our pot on there. Yeah, we might as well get some water going. Well, now we have plenty of water. Let's, let's hold off on that for now. Then let's cook. Um, let's cook that up. And then I think we'll try to do the potato with the little lettuce, All right? Will let us do a potato in here? Probably not. No. I, I should have probably put the steak directly on the flame rather than there. A drink. I'm not too too pressed about being completely perfect about this. Here we go. Have a little drink here. Have plenty of water. Have a good. Uh, a little meal. Let's go to eat that. There we go. Okay, let's try cooking Something's again. Something's making me feel tired. Let's cook up this. Yeah, it takes 48 minutes to cook. Seems about right. And we're gonna need to add a couple sticks here. It's gonna be too dark for me to do any studying at this point. time just for yeah we're not gonna be able to do much studying fortunately should have probably did my studying well I should have ate some chips or something easy real quick just to allow myself the ability to study then I should have studied while there was a little bit of daylight and then did the cooking here at night it would have been a little smarter way to do it but we're gonna be okay I think the next book I'm gonna read is the uh cooking book. I do have a cooking book, right? I can go ahead and drop the... Yeah, I can drop the small arms book. Don't need that. This is the one I'm working my way through right now. And I think Wilderness Kitchen is going to be the next one, since it looks like cooking skill is going to affect our ability to do recipes. So, let's go ahead and advance time through this. I'm starting to get nice and tired, so that's good. Alright, let's have our first... Uh, Let's have our first uh, potato. Nice baked potato. Hot potato. So we should get a warmth bonus from this too. There we go. Not that we're going to need it because I'm just going to be going to sleep. I'm pretty tired at this point. And uh, yeah, it would be a good time to grab some sleep. Um, re up on my. Hydration here a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's have a good night's nice rest here. On a nice full belly. Well, not really full belly, but half full belly. Okay. Well, hopefully we can make it over safely to that house where Moose House there. All right, we survived four days and 23 hours, almost five days. So we're getting getting better at this. I could eat a horse. Yeah, let's get some. Let's get you something to drink first, though. There we go. And uh, just a little bit. I don't think we can study quite yet. We can try, but uh, where's that at? Uh, I need to find food. I'm not trying to use it. As, I don't think it'll let us yet. Yeah, it's too dark still. So. What you need for the... You need that... Those horizontal little rays off the sun to just be above it where the point's visible. Once you have that, then you're good to read. So like right about there, we should be good. Even though it's completely dark. It actually looks darker now, in my opinion. 
but we should be good to read now. Um, let me check and make sure that we're not going to get hungry at the last second. I'm going to go ahead and eat a little something. Since we have a decent amount of food here. Uh, what do I want to eat? What do you guys think? I think we'll have a soda. Get rid of that. They're a little heavy. Okay. That does not generate a tin can that I need to get rid of. I'm trying to keep track of that, but those sort of stuff. Look at these chips. I think we'll go ahead and eat some of these crackers while we're at it. There we go. Obviously, that's going to make us pretty thirsty. I should have drank the soda last because I kind of didn't get the full benefit of the hydration from the soda. All right, there we go. Okay, we should be able to read now. It's right where I needed to be. I clicked off of that. Okay. Yeah, now we're good. So I'm just reading the till the sun comes up a little better, just for to make looting easier. I might just finish it off. Let's just do that. Let's just finish it off. Have a nice, relaxing day there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. Research already completed. So we're good there. We can go over here and see where our skills are. Archery. Yeah, we're almost. We haven't even fired an arrow, arrow and we're about ready to go into um, level two of archery. So, cooking is going up slowly. Carcass harvesting a little bit. We did some rabbits. Ice fishing, haven't done that. Firearm isn't going to happen at all. Revolver isn't going to happen at all. Gunsmithing won't be doing any of that either. So those three are going to just stay right where they're at due to the lack of uh, firearms. Interloper. All right. I really need a pry bar. Missing out on some loot locations. Due to that. Okay, let's go on over here if we can. Mr. Moose is moving along. Check for my stink lines. <laughs> Not on the main screen here. Man, that really threw me off. I think I'll check the car real quick first. It's all mailbox in the car. Then house. Okay, see? Need a pry bar for that. an angler. Nice. Take that. Just finished reading a book. Ready for to add another one to the library. We will use that. We'll be fishing. Okay, some more matches. We'll take that. It's a good, uh, good find. So far started out well. The house was worth it just for those. Let's check these little dark spots since it's still a little... A little bit shady in this area. I wonder if I can break down like a toaster or something like that without a hacksaw. I do that. Yeah. It's hoping something small, you know, something I overlook normally, like I don't even pay attention to. Because normally I'm not desperate for scrap metal. Part of me thinks maybe go for Desolation Point and then uh, over to uh, to the uh, processing facility there. Right next to the Riken, and, and I'm hoping to either A, find enough metal, or B, find a hacksaw where it's, I'm just going to start chopping stuff up. Man, I don't know. But what I would like to do in this episode is still head over to the house that's kind of up on the hill, uh, out past the gas station, just up the road a little bit, and then probably head up to the lookout. It's a little bit sketchy. There is a wolf up there, but uh, pretty confident we could probably make it up there safely.
I do feel a little bit better now that I have a heavy hammer. That's not the kind of book I was hoping for, but it's not a skill book. Okay. And there's always the off, there's always the off chance that you guys spot like a hacksaw that I overlooked, and you're like, "Hey, it was right next to the couch," or something like that, you know. Sort of like with the uh, sledgehammer when I walked in that trailer. The end of that episode. I spotted it. It looked like a rock. Rock to me when I first walked in. But you guys nailed it. Alright. room to carry more so might as well might as well take it this water's just pretty pretty heavy all right please find a hacksaw inside a medicine shelf that's never happened it never will happen i'm sure okay well at least we found matches right love that bed though that's a great bed I think I've done the best I can here. Check everything there. Did I check the fridge. Yeah, check the fridge. All right, let's head on back. So I'm going to drop off some of this stuff here. Probably some of this water. Don't need to be carrying around that much water. Maybe one of these skill books. A couple of these skill books. Something like that. Let's see here. Yeah, let's drop about half of that. Definitely helps with the weight. Uh, the cooking stuff, I'm okay with all that. No issues there. I'm gl I'm really glad we found the storm lantern. I, I can I can repair this, but I think it's gonna take a metal, right? Yeah, I don't really want to be using my metal, so I'm not concerned about it getting damaged in a. Well, I guess it technically could get damaged in a fight. I don't know. I've never noticed if they take damage in wolf fights or anything like that. Hate to see it get destroyed. I mean, there are, there will be other ones, but this definitely helps out. Probably should have used it when I was in that house. That last house, I didn't even think about it. Uh, yeah, I want to drop. Let me move away from the water just a little bit here, and I'll drop um, probably. Well, I'll keep that one, because that's going to be my next reading, I think. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, let's do the cooking one next, and then we'll do angler later. I don't need to be carrying these wires, I don't think. Much how many weight and wires? Half a kilogram, geez, for five of them. And I don't need to be carrying two whetstones or even a simple toolbox at this point in time. So yeah, we got our weight back down to a decent level, a little bit sensible level there. Nice one. I don't have to carry around a two kilogram hammer. I can have just have a knife, and pry bar, and a. Uh, hatchet. Pretty happy with that stuff. Uh, one quick question here. I want to make sure that I have... I'm going to go ahead and drop this. I'm going to make some old man beer dressings and get rid of that because that's pretty heavy. So let's do that. Oh, I got to craft it. Don't I got to go in like this menu to do it? There we go. Gonna make a whole bandage out of it. Let's do two of those. Yeah. There we go. So we're ready to go with two of those. I'm pretty feel pretty confident we can go ahead and drop that here for now. It's 
move it somewhere where I can see it so I don't get overlooked. Another drink here. And we'll head on up. Do a little more exploring. Up uh, that way to a house there. And then up that way to the forestry. Or not the forestry lookout, but a lookout up there. I need them. I don't think I have any at all. Right here. I wonder if there's like stuff around these houses. Like these burned out houses. It would make them like worth checking out if you could actually find something worthwhile and, and things like these boats. You know? These birds, oh, they're just flying over, okay. Alright, so there's a house just up over this uh, rise here. It normally has rabbits hopping around it happily. And it's, I thought that was a moose again. It burned down. What's up, big? Big guy? Okay, well, that's not here anymore. Apparently, an interloper, there's a, a rash of arsonists at the start of the, uh, the apocalypse. All right, well, let's continue up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's continue up the mountain here. I always use a torch, but I only have one, which is shocking. Normally you're swimming in. Or not torches, but flares. Normally you're sw swimming in flares, you know. And so many of them. But the last uh, series I played was Stalker, so. I'm just not used to the uh, different level of loot quite yet. But a couple. Maybe one or two years since I played Interloper. I wonder if I should just go straight up the mountain here. Part of me wants to just go straight up. Now, if we get into trouble, we can go straight down, back into town here. So we can just oh, go straight think about straight down the mountain. Food. If we start getting into some sort of really bad situation. Can I get up this one? You going to let me up? Please. There we go. Alright. Silent clearing. Might as well grab some of these. All getting is good. It's not too bad. Feels like temperatures negative two degrees Celsius. All of our clothing. Feels like some fog's rolling in. That's a deer, not a moose, so too concerned about that. It's been a long time since I've been up to this lookout. A trailer here, and there's the rope. Pretty sure this is Yeah. All right. So oh we got some clothing up here. Look at this. Jeans. Handy. I'll 
I'll take it. 62%. I don't think we have double pair of jeans, do we? We do not. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what? New jeans, four jeans. Okay. I don't think it really matters. Yeah. It's not going to matter from a... I guess from taking damage standpoint, it might matter, but I'm not too concerned about it. I'll repair it probably tonight. That's a great find. Wow. Pretty cool when I'm excited to find a pair of jeans. I do like interloper for that. It makes it really... I'll grab that just in case I need to burn a little longer than a couple sticks worth of time. I'm gonna climb up the uh climb this, I think. Mm. I just wanna try to I walk it. I remember. I think I'm gonna climb it. How are we doing on weight? Oh yeah, we're fine. Not a problem there. I don't think I can... I don't think they could let me up this way. Yeah, I could try. Could end badly for my ankles. Yeah. I mean, that'd be kind of crazy to design it where I can just walk around the rope. It, it kind of is like that with Signal Hill, though. Nice thing is, if we need to come down quickly, not a problem. Go down that way. I have to use the rope. Okay. Well, it's been a long time since I've been up here. I really wish I had a hacksaw. Or hatchet. I think hacksaw will work too. Kind of, kind of walking a little blind here because can't exactly remember the route to go this way. But yeah, here we go. Pretty sure. Pretty sure you take this. Gonna get my flare out. Try to take the less ouchy way down the slope there. Let's try to get a little bit of high ground here, a little bit of visibility. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Memory serves the lookouts right over here to the to the left. This general area. I think. level picture. I wonder if it's 
If it is down one. It might be. Okay. Oh well. I'm gonna go this way then. It's funny, I spent spent like a lifetime. Oh there it is right in front of me. Okay, good. I'm starting to get self doubt. Just from lack of you know, being here. I'll just can I slide through here safely? It's like, yeah. We got it, don't worry. It's okay. Don't mind him. Just making funny noises. Ah, oh, moose. Moose likes this area, it looks like. Scrapings on the tree. Oh no, that's a different tree. Maybe not. Maybe that's just how it is. For that particular tree. Grab some rose hips here. For that recipe. Abandoned lookout. That's what it's called. Alright. Alright, let's head on inside. Glad it's not burned to the ground at least. Alright, we can go ahead and put the flare away. So, fairly safe now. It's like one degrees. Okay, I see another cooking book. That's just good. Good for us. Uh, there's not much in here. Alright, I'll let you guys pause and read that if you want to. Note from a backer. Lamp fuel. Oh, lamp fuel. Could be useful. 100% it could be useful. Man, not much in here. Not much at all. Alright. Well, I think we head back. While the weather's good and I know the route and all that. I don't really want to stay up here and get caught in a blizzard and not have, like, enough fuel to... Not enough fire to make it through the whole night. You know? So, we can always make it back to the cave where we came in the map at, right over there. But I think uh, since all of our loot and stuff is back there, at the, uh, yeah, they're flying that way, okay. Just want to make sure that it wasn't, Crow's trying to give us a warning. Can't go back up that way because I popped down from there. So I'm going to have to head over, over this way. Just listening. Okay. Listening for footfalls. Yeah, that way will take us right around the corner there, just up where those two trees are. Looks like they're in the middle of the road. The jogs to the right a little bit is the cave that we came into the map on. This little area here makes me a little nervous because uh, we're back, back there towards the cave behind us there because uh, sometimes there's a patrol wolf there. But I feel pretty comfortable heading back this way because we didn't run into anything. So if I kind of retrace my basic route heading back, should be should be okay. Should be. Being the operative words there. Yeah, you're hungry again. That's okay. My stomach feels like an empty pit. Made it most of the day without being hungry. That's yeah, okay. Oh, I'm even following my old footsteps back. funny that like a slight incline at a certain angle is bad for your ankles but going over this really bumpy unpredictable terrain that I'm on right now no chance of a sprain just it is what it is uh, let's see if we can get up this way hopefully we can if not we can always go down to the water approach that way I think we're good to go this way though. there we go nice Good. I'm gonna head over here to Silent Clearing.
There's our rope down. I'm gonna just take the hill now. Even though going down a rope it uses up way less uh, energy. Makes you way less tired. It's no point in getting tired at all, right? Any more than you have to by just walking. So I'm gonna try this. And I got the painkillers so if I could get an ankle sprain, which is very possible. Should be able to just go straight down. No. There's our buddy. There's our old buddy. Let's just head straight down the hill and appear in the backyard of the uh, Quonset Hut gas station. Quonset gas station. I don't think it's called Hut. Get right back in the backyard here. So. Alright, where's our HUD at? There it is, in case we get into it. I'm just going to head back towards this. House here, and work my right way around. And there we go. That was a good little expedition. So we've pretty well looted this area. I'm on the fence about moving into Desolation Point, or go for the Cardar Hydra Dam. Where I think we'll have a better chance of finding that Hexall and maybe more scrap metal. Um, kind of leaning towards going for the Hydra Dam. Rather than betting it all, going through that transition area, which can be dangerous to Desolation Point, and then dealing with Desolation Point, which can be dangerous as well. It's pretty tight. So... I think I'm going to head to Mystery Lake, go to the Carter Hydra Dam. Pretty much, I'm going to take all this stuff here, move it over to uh, Misanthrops, um, our little forward observation post or whatever, our little base over there. Drop it all there, then head off across the map here through Ravine into Mystery Lake for the Hydra Dam. And uh, uh, we're going to find more loot there anyway but hopefully we find that hacksaw somewhere over there and it'll be a safer safer choice so i think that's where we'll end here kind of right back where we started but uh had a lot of looting done and and we got through a book so that's good um hope you guys are enjoying the series still uh i know i am definitely looking forward to it every time i sit down to play it um yeah let me know if i missed anything if you guys saw me overlook anything what i'm trying to do with this series is trying to record one episode. I'm not trying to batch record and get too far ahead um, because I really find your comments helpful. And I'm trying to adjust gameplay based upon those. So I'm trying to do one episode, then I wait a couple days, and then I read all the comments up till till that, uh, for that time, and then, then I record another one based, in, and I try to make adjustments if need be. So don't feel like, um, you know, hey, you're probably already way ahead in your recordings by now, but you missed something. Let me know. Let me know. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching.